Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so over the few, the past few weeks, I've been picking up on some type of divorce case that's going on behind the scenes. Um, and then I keep picking up on a queen of wands that has some type of mental illness as well. Um, it's just a whole lot. And then there's like a family behind the scenes. I don't know if this is her family or people she got together to assist her in some type of agenda. Uh, either to set someone up, get someone locked up. It's almost as though like a woman knows a man is either interested in another feminine energy while they've been together. Like while she and a man has been together, like she has known that he's interested in another person. And this has caused some type of jealousy in her. But this is also a woman that's mentally unstable. Like medically, I think this is someone unstable. And it keeps coming up in my readings. Because a lot of the times when she comes out, like the so the, the eight of swords is around her. The devil's energy is around her. The three of swords. There's something going on with this woman's mental. And this is someone that's emotionally imbalanced. But I think there's a court case going on between a masculine and a, and a feminine behind the scenes. And there may be some situation where she's like sleeping with either a lawyer or a judge or this was something that was going on and this was supposed to help her have things go in her favor. Um, so if you're the masculine that's going through this divorce with this woman, you may want to look into it because this is someone that's set on making things go her way. From what I saw, I don't think it's going to go her way because there's going to be some type of change. In the divorce proceeding, I don't know if there's going to be like a change in judges, a, ch a change in lawyers or something, or there's going to be some type of uh, 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 analysis. I don't know what the word is that I want to use, but it's that you all need to look into documents and things like that. Because when it comes to dividing up assets, most of the money in this relationship was garnered or was gained by the masculine. He's the one that made most of the money in the relationship but she's trying to take him for all that he's got i don't know if like i don't i don't know how you and this woman got together because this is someone that's like a complete opposite of you or maybe you just don't know yourself yet maybe maybe you put yourself out to be someone that's diplomatic but there's something you need to know about this woman that you've been with this is not the first time like she has tried to get someone for money this is someone that basically got to where she is on her back. Like I think this woman may, may have even taken advantage of someone else in the past before, like an older man or something. Uh, there's something about that. Like she's taking advantage of a wealthy man before. This is someone that sleeps with wealthy people, wealthy men, so that she can be on their good side. Something about like a will, like so if they're passing away that she can... They, they can put her in put her in the will. I don't know how that conversation starts off. Like, hey, Mr. John, I know you're passing away or whatever. We've been doing this, you know, uh, sugar daddy and sugar baby thing for 10 years. Can you put me in? I don't know how that conversation goes and I don't want to pretend to know. But just so you know, this woman that you are divorcing or this woman that you got married to, you're getting married to, there's something that you need to be aware of. And it is something very alarming. I don't know if you were warned before you got in a relationship with this woman and you kind of disregarded what you were told. Maybe you didn't take the person that told you the truth about her seriously. Uh, maybe you thought someone was jealous. I don't know what it is, but someone was literally looking out for you and you disregarded everything they told you about a feminine energy, a queen of wands. I don't know if this is someone that goes both ways as well because I keep picking up 
on there and I keep seeing a woman that's, that pleases herself to other women's pictures and things like that. So I think this is someone that goes both ways and she does not have any boundaries, whether someone is married, not married, man, woman, she's all for it. Um, so I don't know if you two got together and you started exploring a little bit. I don't know what it is, but just be careful because this is someone that is absolutely stern on getting all of your money and she does have some type of legal access into the court system that she misuses. So she may have like a boyfriend, a boy toy that works in the court system that she used, she's been using for things like that. Uh, someone may have even left her community, went to another community, like someone leaving a whole different city or country to go to another city or country to make people think that she was a powerful, well-connected, and by doing that, she manipulated people into violating someone else's privacy. So this is like a woman coming to a city and saying, my dad is the chief of police in the whatever, in the whole world. You know, I'm just, just using that as an example. She could say like, my dad is the attorney general or something. Uh, so maybe then people believed it. Maybe she showed them some type of false documents and they went look, uh, invading someone's privacy to get information for her that she needed so that she could stalk someone online, stalk someone's life, invade someone's privacy in every way possible that you can think of. So there's a woman out here that's been up to a whole lot. And I did see this, this woman may end up in jail because there's some type of forgery some type of theft um, because I've been analyzing my readings for the past like two to three weeks and the same thing same thing keeps coming out about the same queen of wands you are definitely going to be going to prison and I don't know how long it is but it's either that or you're going to be having to pay someone back a lot of money but you don't have the money that you stole to pay back you may have uh, 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 forced someone's signature. That like she's been out here doing a lot. So more than likely, this woman will be going to jail, or she's gonna have to pay someone back the money that she stole. She may have even paid someone to block some another individual from receiving an Ace of Pentacles offer or blessing, something like that. But just know like you're about to go through some type of horrendous experience and this is going to be your karma i know you're out here stalking people trying to plot on how you can end them but it's not going to go according to plan i think you and your i don't know what to call them your lover in the court system yeah he knows he knows it's the game is up or she knows maybe this could be a woman that goes that's uh that goes to you know, like still have options just like you. Maybe this is a woman in the court system that's been helping you, whatever it is. But just know the both of you, it ain't looking pretty. I know you all were celebrating some type of ending for a high priestess. You thought you were going to uh, destroy someone's resources because this is what you've been doing behind the scenes is trying to destroy someone else's resources, hide someone so that no one can see them because you know that someone is gifted. The, a lot of these high priestesses have been going through it, but you've been out here trying to hide someone's platform so that the truth about you is not exposed. But just know that it was all in vain because everybody that needs to know the truth about you knows the truth about you. Okay. So you could have a masculine that's been stuck in some type of karmic relationship with this woman or he's been stuck in some type of really hard divorce that she has just been complicating. And I think for a long time, he didn't know why the divorce was taking so long or maybe he knew, I don't know. But it was because she was doing things behind the scenes to prolong this divorce to prevent you from moving forward. And it looks like you're pushing through to get out of this situation. You may have been feeling stuck, feeling blocked. Your whole surrounding, like your whole life has been being controlled because this woman has invaded your life in multiple ways. Whereas that she's stuck in the friends and families, keeping a track of keeping track of you, trying to keep a hold of you, keep trying to prevent you from moving forward. Like you, someone has been gatekeeping you and you didn't know the whole time, but I think you are starting to awaken. So you may be trying to find your way out of this and trying to become a little bit more disciplined with how it is that you are. Maybe it's your mindset, your heart, whatever, but there's something that you are not aware of as well when it comes to this woman. This is someone that uses black magic. So 
how she does hers is that she goes to a practitioner to do the work for her and then she has people around you that she's playing she's puppeting basically and she's feeding them a lot of lies about you and it, it makes people see you in some type of light that's not yours um or she tells people what it is to say to you because she wants them to help her have you see her in a light that's not her? So it's like a uh, Jizzy Bell pretending to be uh, Empress energy, a divine energy, but she's not. So taking on that kind of energy is a task because you're not that naturally. So you always have to remember your line. You always have to remember your walk. You always have to remember your energy. But you know when you're naturally that, you don't have to remember anything. So it's really difficult for her to pretend to be genuine because she's not there's something where this woman is also stuck in her mind about you communicating with someone uh you might you might be wanting to communicate with another energy maybe for advice or just to give them some type of apology maybe have some type of closure maybe uh something they said perked your imagination or something your antennas and something is being looked into and it's working out in your favor um i don't know if they also wanted to if when you two were getting married or something, I don't know if they wanted to invite your twin flame to the mat, to the wedding so that they could be heartbroken or maybe she wanted the wedding advertised so that your twin flame could keep, could end up seeing the marriage or the wedding and then they will be heartbroken. I don't think the woman that is on the other end of this story that's not really in like you us proximity, I don't think she's worried about the both of you. Because I'm trying to see it from my perspective. That's not really something I would be bothered about. I wouldn't be concerned with something like that. If I, if I knew like my twin flame was getting married or something and we've never been together or we're no longer together, that's not something that will bother me. It would be like, oh, well, you know, I'm glad he found happiness. Uh, best wishes to him. I hope everything works out. They look like a lovely couple. That's basically how I see things. So if I'm going to see it, that way through another high priestess's eyes or another empress's eyes i don't think she will be bothered by you being married to anyone as long as you're happy and fulfilled in life because clearly she will know then that she has a, a another person that's going to be brought into her energy or into her life that's going to balance life out for her maybe you two's contract is over for this lifetime Maybe you two have fulfilled your purpose together. So now there's a new contract coming for her. You have a different contract. So that's how I would see that. But as far as like a high priestess sitting around or an empress sitting around and moping about someone getting married, it just wouldn't make sense. Like two and two wouldn't add up in that math in that equation it just would not add up so maybe she knows that you and someone are truly meant to be you two could be like twin flames and higher level soulmates and this is how you see this queen of pentacles on the other side that's minding her business uh, like you may want to reconcile with this woman this queen of pentacles so you may send her some type of communication like you see this woman as an empress energy so you may want to communicate with her to reconcile and balance things out. But I've just, like, you want to give to her, share with her, have a family with her. This is someone who's a high priestess and very wise beyond her years. You may have left this woman out in the cold due to something someone else said to you. Um, but you never really went through to find the truth out. So maybe there was a point in your life where you had an option between the Queen of Pentacles that's not around, minding her business, and the Jizzy Bell that's around you. There was a time when you had an option to choose between them and you went with the Jizzy Bell because maybe you were in your lower energy at the time. Maybe she's really good at manipulating because this is what I get about this woman. This is someone that's like a... Uh, I don't even know how to verbalize this, but this is someone that has like a PhD when it comes to manipulating people. Even the person that's in the court system that she has some type of relationship going on with, she's been manipulating them too. And I don't know if they don't know that, but if they watch this video, just know you're being manipulated as well. Um, So you went with the Jizzy Bell and you may have refused the Queen of Pentacles that was in the upright. You may have taken some type of action as well against the Queen of Pentacles that did nothing to you, but it was all because this Jizzy Bell was playing on your mindset, trying to tell you that the Queen of Pentacles was the one who was maybe jealous of her. Now, mind you, this woman probably doesn't know her, never met her before. They didn't even know who she was, whether, whether or not she was alive, not alive. If she existed, they didn't exist. That woman probably didn't know. Or maybe it's a situation where maybe they saw 
there, there's a social media thing going on. Maybe you two are on social media together, but I don't think this Queen of Pentacles would have taken the time out of her day to be like, oh, I can't believe he got married to her. Like Queen of Pentacles, one thing they're known for is minding their business. Like they'll know the truth and they'll mind their business. They don't, they don't, they don't have a bone to pick with anyone. That's why you see the Queen of Pentacles, they're always focused. You see how they're sitting in that chair and they're always focused on that pentacles in their hand i'm trying to find the queen of pentacles card so i can show you yeah here, here goes the beauty you see how like she's sitting right there and she's focused on her pentacles meaning she's focused on her her life her immediate environment uh what pertains to her she's not worried about what's going on with anyone else she's worried about her finances her family you know her happiness her fulfillment being content in life you know because she usually always have foresight of what is going on um so she doesn't really need to be bothered or get out of her energy or her character to prove who to prove who she is in any way shape or form so you're never really going to see a queen of pentacles out here throwing a fit because someone is getting married because someone didn't choose her because she already knows that like, who she is and what she brings to the table but there's something where the woman that you got married to has been doing something illegal behind the scenes may have been working with a lover um like a king of swords in the court system and again, it could be a woman because this is the person you got married to goes both ways. Now, I don't know if you go both ways because I think in a dream, I saw that maybe you may have been experimenting a little bit. So maybe you may have gone that way. That's your business. I really don't care what you all have going on, what you all have going on out here. You rich folks move a little different from the rest of us regular folks. So to each his own. But there's something about her working with a king of swords or maybe it's a queen of swords in the court system to set someone up. Maybe you didn't know that, but this is the truth that's coming out. She was supposed to set up the woman that she thought that you were interested in. And while they will be sitting in prison, rotting away, then she will be out here living uh, the La Vita Loca. And it also has to do with the fact that there's some type of jealousy she has against this woman. She does not want to see her fulfilled in life, happy. And there's some type, like the woman you are with, sir, I don't know how else, how else we can all tell you this because of a lot of tarot readers pick, have picked up on this as well. This woman is crazy, medically crazy. I don't know how else we can tell you that. Like someone is unstable. I, you like you watch those Lifetime movies where it's like you have the family, the, the, the beautiful couple, they're living their life. And then this Jizzy Bell comes out of nowhere. She ends up being the babysitter or something. And then she falls in love with the husband. So now she has to take out the wife. Or so, I'm just using this as an example. She has to take out the wife and she and the husband are going to live happily ever after together. She's going to be the best stepmom in the world. Uh, that's not how it goes because obviously one, you just killed that man's wife and yeah, you're going to jail, penitentiary. Two, those kids don't like you. You took their mom away. You're going to jail, penitentiary. Three, you're bad as ish, IT crazy as heck. You're the only one that don't see it. You're crazy. You're going to the penitentiary. So there's something, there's like some type of short circuit that this woman has that I don't know how you didn't see it because I saw you to be someone very intellectual, but you keep showing up in my downloads as the king, king of pentacles and the king of pentacles. They're very characteristic of this kind of behavior because as successful and hardworking and down to earth as they are, they are very gullible. It's very easy to take advantage of a lot of King of Pentacles. And I don't know why it's like that. Because the King of Pentacles, these are men oftentimes or women uh, in other cases that have come a long way in life. Like they didn't just wake up one day and were wealthy. They actually had to work for their wealth. Like every step of the way required some type of hard work. So they don't have wealth that was handed to them. They didn't have to trick for it. They didn't have to do any type of slimy things for it. And you see here, you're still showing up in that work ethics with that work ethics out here. You are someone very hardworking. Like you started from very, you started with very little with this four of pentacles here. 
this is your story. You started off very with very little and you put in that work, that discipline. You stay committed to whatever it is you're into in order to acquire your abundance. There were stages that you had to go through. Okay, you had to learn how to be a little bit more analytical to the things that you were doing. You had to stay true to yourself, tr stay true to your desires, your aspirations, your goals, and things like that. Get in touch with your emotional side, you know, actually care about what it is that you were doing, right? And then you had to perfect your communication skills and things like that. You actually had to walk around and with some confidence within yourself. Like you started from the bottom, now you're here. But for some reason, the king of pentacles, they just never get it when it comes to being gullible. People can take advantage of them very easily. And I don't know if it's the aspect that, oh, I have enough. I can give some to them. No, you can give to people, but you got to be careful of the people you give to. You have been self-sabotaging your whole life. And this is why you're in this situation with this maniac. Um, and you're the only one that does not know that this is a maniac. You haven't known for a long time that you were with a maniac. Quite possibly, whoever told you the truth about this woman, you probably dismissed them and said that maybe they were hating on her. Um, that she was actually genuine. You didn't. You weren't listening to anything they were saying. That you were there for her. You and her were on the same page. You love her and all of that. Not knowing the whole time this woman was playing you like a tuba because she was just with you for your money. I'm telling you, you are someone that's very hardworking. You are someone that'll work and work and work until you get your heart's desire. So I don't know why it is. And I've never been able to understand why the King of Pentacles are so gullible. Okay, I don't understand it. Now you have a community out here that are crying in distress because what, baby? I'm telling you, this man does not see this woman as wish fulfillment anymore. He's moving on with his life. She's not able to hold on to him. She's not able to keep him stuck. She's not able to manipulate him into seeing her as wish fulfillment. Like there's something going on where everything is being flipped, turned upside down because this woman, the truth is being found out about her. There is absolutely some type of divorce or betrayal going on. Maybe he's finding out now that the whole family family has been in on this divorce or this relationship whatever this is the fact that she's not loyal she's non-committal there's something about you just i don't know it's like it's like someone can sir no disrespect but you got to get your head up out of your ass it's like people can paint a billboard for you and put the facts on there in bold prints bold fonts Okay, they can put the facts on there and you will read it and you will still dismiss it or put it off. That, that, that's the reason why you are in this predicament. You got nobody else to blame. This woman has been trying to hold on to you, keep you stuck so that she can keep having wish fulfillment. I don't know if she thought she was going to have another feminine energy locked up. This is absolutely a queen of wands that you do not see as wish fulfillment. She's not getting her wishes in this situation. This woman is absolutely burdened because the truth is out that she's a freaking liar. She's toxic and karmic as heck. She's not having a brand new beginning in anything. She's been living under some type of illusion. This is someone with a lot of uh, karmic and toxic ways. This is someone that goes both ways. There is some type of communication that you receive that gave you clarity about who this devilish energy is. She's been trapping you for a long time, trying to prevent you from having reconciliation with your twin flame in order for you two to be together. I don't know what this is, but honey, I've been so sick and tired of you all coming up in my readings for the past three weeks, past month, actually. It's like every reading I do, here you come. Then I tell you when she comes out, the devil comes right with her. The devil comes right with her. Here she is. The truth is out about her, her, her toxic city. This is someone that overindulges. This is someone that has no boundaries. I don't know what she got you involved into. Maybe she talked you into 
being open with other couples or whatever this is because in a dream I saw a masculine and a masculine together baby that ain't none of my business but I don't know if you were like that before or you just decided to explore your options or something to each its own but you got to be careful with the kind of people you give commitments to because they will help you open Pandora's box in your life and you don't know how to close Pandora's box because they themselves don't even know how to close Pandora's box because they don't want to. And if they knew how to, they still don't want to. So you let some type of demonic energy into your life and they were out here pretending to be in the upright. Now you know the truth that they are not in the upright. We don't, we, we don't know what you want us to do, sir. We don't know what you want us to do. So now you found out she's demonic as heck. What well, you want a new beginning so you can move on? What do you, what, what do you want us to do? What, who are you going to move on towards the person you betray? I don't know what this is. It is just too much, too much, too much, sir. You got to get your head out of your behind. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, two and two is not a hard equation to follow. I'm telling you. Like, this family, they're so, in, they're so, like, they're in so much distress. Like, they're pissed off because, one, they don't know what it is you're up to, what you're plotting to do, what you're planning to do, your next move. Because maybe you've always been open with them, telling them what it is that you're going to do. I'm going to go on this trip tomorrow. I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to go have this business meeting. You're not very open with them anymore, which is good because that's how they were getting access to you in the first place because you were so open and upfront with them. They're also upset because they know this marriage, this wedding, whatever this is it's not happening or it's coming to an end this this relationship is not a successful one it's over you're leaving this behind because this woman and even you could be under judgment there is some type of court case that's going on that's going to enable you to start over new now i don't know if it's going to be with the queen of pentacles that she's been trying to destroy but you will have success and healing when you come out of this karmic toxic low vibrational period of your life this was a karmic cycle that you needed to go through because you just don't know how to use your i'm sorry your common sense you don't know how to use it like you saw a pretty face more than likely nice body and you were you know following her around with your tongue hanging out tail whacking it's a lot of beautiful women's in the, women in the world. So what, what are you going to do every time you see a beautiful woman? Are you going to drop one and go to the next one? You're supposed to date people for character. And if you're having a hard time seeing someone's true character, then that means there's something wrong with you. If everybody around you, now I don't know if everybody around you was telling you this, but if you are with someone and, you, and, and, and something happens, because I feel like when you were with this woman, something did happen that caused you some type of distress. But what did you do, sir? What what did you do you let it go you put it up you disregarded it you say you know what it's okay uh maybe i'm tripping it's not what i think it is it's not that big of a deal i'm not going to hold it against her that was a telltale tell -tell sign that was like a warning sign again that you choose to disregard and move forward to now you're out here in distress because you don't see her as wish fulfillment because because the truth is out about her. Now, I don't know if you want to go back to being exclusive or maybe you were never into whatever she's into. Maybe you're finding out that she's been out here being reckless. This is how she moved. This is how she got her money in life. So I don't know if you saw two women. You said this one has... This one seems to be a little bit more sturdy in life and stable in life. This one, the Queen of Pentacles, is not a Queen of Pentacles quite yet. Um, so you went with the Queen of Wands that you thought had more money. Maybe she was a little bit more older or maybe more mature looking or something. I don't know what it is. It more than likely had to do with her beauty because it, it didn't have nothing to do with her work. This is not someone that likes to work. The only kind of work that she does is on her knees or her back. Or her back okay? This is also a woman that's out here. There's something about her and content creators. This is a woman that's out here blocking people's voices, people's work, people's art, and things like that. So it says she does not want the truth to come out about her because she's been so busy pretending to be something she's not. And if everybody is picking up on the same energy when it comes to her, she felt attacked. Mind you, nobody knows who this woman is. They've never seen her never communicated with her, nothing, but she felt like she was being personally attacked by terror readers. So she's been out here blocking people's 
platforms, manipulating people platform, paying people to do this on her behalf because she doesn't want to get her hands dirty because this is someone that acts from behind the scenes, okay, on her knees and her back. Um, but I don't know what it is about you, like your mindset, your mindset. Whoever it is you are interested in, you two will meet in divine timing. There is some type of meeting that the spirit realm has destined for you two to have in order for, for you two to have some type of closure. This is going to be a, a meeting where maybe the two of you will decide you want to go your separate ways, you and your twin flame, or if you want to work something out, depending on however way you two choose to go, the story will go from there. And I'm not going to elaborate on that because that's something that needs to be like a surprise. Um, but sir, you, you, oh my gosh, you got to use your common sense. You got to use your common sense. I don't know what in the world was going on. This is absolutely a divorce. I don't know what in the world was going on that made you think this kind of devilish creature was going to be wish fulfillment. Now she has you out here and getting involved in things that you should not even be involved in. You're going to need to do some, I don't know, need to do some type of clean scene, go through some type of rebirth to get this energy off of you because there's some type of demonic entity that's attached to this woman and she's more than likely attached something to you and you're going to have to purify your energy if you want to end up in a relationship with someone that's high vibrational. If you are done. When you come around women that are high vibrational or masculines that are high vibrational and you try to give them a love offer, they're going to see that demonic or feel that demonic energy around you. They're not going to want to be with you. I don't think you all realize that how serious it is. Like for example, in my neighborhood, my kids and I, we go for walks sometimes. There is a house on one of these streets. When we walk past that house, it's like everything stands still. It, the energy is very murky, but it's just around that house. Once we walk past that house, everything else goes back to blaze, sunshine, rainbows, butterfly, roses. So there is more than likely things that have happened in that house. And there's always some type of mysterious van parking in front of it. More than likely something happened inside of that house and the energy in that house is so thick that it is literally pouring out. And again, for example, we like to go to like nature parks and things like that. So we, during the summertime, we go to like parks, see animals and things like that just to get and stay connected to nature, right? We try different parks sometimes. There's this park we were going to last, we went to last summer. So we tend to be creatures of habit, my children and I. When we find something we like, we tend to stick to it. So we wanted to kind of explore this one day. We went to, we went and did our research about this park. We went to the park. When I said before we even enter into the park, the energies just was not matching us. Like something was just off. We go into do the trail to walk the trail and everything is just off. Like you, you just feel like there are souls looking at you, souls that are in distress and things like that. And I'm just telling them like this, something's just, is not right about this park. Like it feels really dark. I know it's daytime. We were there around like what, 2 PM or something, 12, between 12 to 2 PM. I'm like, the energy is just dark and murky. I don't feel happy here for some reason. I don't want to be here. The things are just murky. So when we left, I went ahead and looked to see if anyone had ever passed away in that park only to find out 18 people had passed away there. A few of them had committed a side. So that is why the energy in that park was so dark and murky. If you're, if you're not spiritually awakened, if your eyes are not open, your heart is shut down, your mind is... 
Like you're not paying attention to the things that you need to pay attention to. You don't pick up on things like that. And we all go through this period in life where we are in the dark or we're just living this blase, blase life, not paying attention to what we need to, not going, not doing the work to awaken. And we don't notice things like that. So then when these devilish creatures come into our lives and they deceive us, I've been deceived myself before, but I was young at that time. I'm not picking up on a gentleman that's young. Uh, you're someone very mature up there in your 40s, your 50s. So you're someone that should know better by now. Okay. I'm not here to sugarcoat things for you. You should know better by now. You got to put in the work to open your eyes. If you, if spirituality is something that bothers you or you're not comfortable with it, you don't know how people are going to receive it. Do it behind closed doors until you get comfortable with being who it is that you are. Until you do that, you're going to keep running into these kind of creatures that are there to deceive you, weigh you down, burden you, and cause you a lot of trouble. Now you have a woman out here trying to take you for all the money you got when you know she didn't have a hand in nothing. You did all the hard work. You did all the hard work to upkeep this fool right here. Now you gotta gotta go to court or something. I don't know if this is a. I think this is a divorce court, divorce case. Now you gotta go to court to prove that your assets should be given to you. Something you know you work really hard for. You're out here having to dispute it with an incompetent person that don't got nothing to do with what it is you you don't build for yourself. You hear me? Okay. So you don't got no one to blame by yourself. I'm not about to sugarcoat things with you. Maybe my other, my fellow co-workers on YouTube are sugarcoating it for you, telling you, oh, you know, it's going to be, no, 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 no. You put yourself in this predicament because you saw a pretty face and you started whacking your tongue and your tail and went after them. And she put on a show, put on a charade, and you said, yep, that's the one for me, only to find out what? Nothing but death. She comes with nothing but death. There's something about this woman and older people, like seniors or something, or she knows exactly when to meet with men to get into their good grades, but they don't know she's coming with some type of ulterior motives, which is why she's partnering up with them just to manipulate them so that they can stabilize her in life, put her in that queen of pentacles energy, and she can get out here pretending to be Miss Independent. Miss Independent stay on her knees okay that's all she does that's how she got her money that's how she intended on getting her money that's the only way she knows how to get her money if there's a if there's an older man that was in her life that passed away they need to look into how he passed away something about respect here or something like that you all need to look into that there's something about this woman that's very dark very dark and unhinged unhinged as can be she this lady is straight out here trying to set someone up to go to prison for something they have nothing to do with nothing to do with and if they were trying to hide this divorce proceedings or what girl it, it ain't hitting it's not hitting everybody knows everybody knows maybe there's something you didn't know about her in a court official being together they're together they've been sleeping together that's her little boo thing that's her boo thing. You may want to look into that. Isn't that like a conflict of interest or something in a court case when there's some type of personal relationship between a client and the lawyer or the judge? Isn't that like a conflict of interest? I'm not a, I'm not in the court system now. I didn't go to school for, for legal matters, but I'm pretty sure I bet my little $4 I have in my bank account on it that if there's a court case going on and there's some type of relationship between the client and the uh, 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 legal per the, the legal person, they cannot represent them in that court case. They cannot be involved in any way, shape, or form. So this is a tower for you that you maybe didn't know that's, that there's someone in the court case that you are in that is aware that it's related related to this woman in some way shape or form whether it's her lover her brother cousin long distant whoever friend even friendships if you two are friends you cannot represent her they cannot be involved in their court case okay mm-hmm mm-hmm 
They're all out here burdened because you're going to be taking action to balance something out. I don't know what the heck this is. I'm just sick and tired of all of you. I'm sorry. I'm, I ain't sorry. I'm sick and tired of all of you. And then she got the audacity to be out here playing with people's platform, paying people to do this, paying people to do that. Because she wants to be seen as a true empress. Baby, that's making it worse. You want to be seen as an empress the minute you go paying people to make you look like the victorious one. You don't effed up real badly. That's when the high priestesses start picking up on everything. Because they know something just ain't adding up. Something ain't milking the buttermilk. So you're out here paying to have people's platforms uh, uh, temper with. Girl, what's wrong with you? You're giving us content. <laughs> You're giving us content. What's wrong with you? I hear talking about she's better than, you're not better than nobody. You're low vibration and insecure as heck. You're trying to block people's money. They're not interfering with your money because they, they don't want to, even if they could. So, girl, you can get on your knees as long as you want. Go ahead and open your mouth. I'm sure there's a man or a woman around you that has something to put in it. But don't don't worry. We ain't trying to get involved in that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just open wide. He got something to stick in it. Telling you. Yeah, she's not getting wish fulfillment out of this court case. I knew there was a court case coming out. I knew there was a court case. Baby, nah, 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 sister. I, I've been told you this. It's not going in your favor. It's not going in your favor. You've been trying to mask your energy. Sometimes you show up as the queen of pentacles because you want to be seen as an empress. So you're trying to take on all of these energies. You want to be seen as a queen of cups, queen of... Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. All you really are is the Queen of Wands in reverse because you use the at the attributes of the Queen of Wands in the reverse, meaning your legs is wide and open for everybody to get in there. All you do is misuse your looks. Baby, everybody out here, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Everybody is beautiful in their own way. You too included. So you got to bring a little bit more to the table. I mean substance. Substance, substance. I mean like mental substance. I'm not talking about this. You thought maybe you thought when I did this, I meant money. No, 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 girl. I meant substance of the mind, the heart, the soul. Okay? Mental. That kind of substance. Sitting out here. I'm telling you. Oh, look, look, look. She and her friends celebrating. They, they really thought. They really thought they were going to have wish fulfillment. You were celebrating, weren't you? You said, I worked hard. I worked hard to block them. I worked hard to block this queen of pentacles and this king of, I mean, this emperor from coming together. They ain't coming together. We're going to keep telling lies and manipulating him to hold him back. Keep him stuck. Make sure things are not going in their favor during this court case. We got it down. We got it all figured out. Source said lies. <laughs> Source says you're defeated. Whatever you garner, whatever you gain through mischief, you're going to lose. I'm telling you, the truth is out. And whatever it is you've been doing is being balanced out. Your friends may not have known the truth about you before, but they know the truth now. You're being looked at as a clown. So maybe your friends out here are trying to balance things out in their life now, in their lives, now that they know the truth and things like that. Maybe now they're trying to go the other route. It's a like, girl, you're out here tripping. You need help. You do. You need to go to a psychiatrist. At this point, I don't even think a psychiatrist can solve the problem you have because you showing up in my downloads as a psycho sociopath narcissist you're unhinged you're incurable like you are a jizzy bell the only reason you come into people's life is to wreak havoc and you don't care no ways about it but this is your future you don't care no ways about what it is you do to people you get a thrill out of it oh yes sir this is your future again, madame. She gets a thrill out of causing mishint. Uh, uh, uh. What was I going to say? 
She gets the thrill out of causing mayhem to people in people's life, people's marriages, people's relationships, people's finances. You need to go to a psychiatrist. You need medical help. Like they need to put you in an institution and throw the keys away. Okay? Whatever it is you and your friends have been plotting, the universe wants you to know they ain't letting none of it happen. None of it, none of it. You're about to be out here karmic and poor. You're going to have to work. You know how you've been living that privileged lifestyle, not having to do nothing for a while because of the masculine you've been with? Baby, you're about to have to work for everything. You see that five of pentacles? You're about to have to work for everything it is you want in life so you can know what it feels like. And we ain't talking about you being on your knees and your back. No, we mean actually putting in the work. You see how this 10 of wands is above you? You are going to have to work to have fulfillment in life. Okay? If you didn't know that, now you know. Go ask that practitioner that you go to. That practitioner you've been going to, go, go on to her and ask her. If it's true and she'll tell you if she's, if she's a friend, if she actually cares about you, she'll tell you the truth. I don't think it's that she cares, but if she wants to be true with you, she'll tell you, oh yeah, you're about to work, work. Maybe you're about to be putting in that hard manual labor. You see how hard that, that person is working on that 10 of wands. That's about to be you putting in that manual labor and you're out here worried. What's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to you is you're going to have to put in this work. Okay, you're going to have to put in this work. The person you've been working with behind the scenes is walking away from you. They don't want to offer from you because now, nah, honey, they're uncertain about their future as well. They don't know what's about to happen to them. Is it, oh my gosh, why did I get involved in this? What, what was I thinking? Yeah, what were you thinking, sir? What, what was it? What were you thinking? What were you thinking this whole time? What were you thinking? Hmm? Now, you see this woman you've been lying about? Didn't I tell you all? This sister here, minding her damn mother effing business. Easy as A, B, C, do, re, me. Okay? Minding her business. Minding her business. They've been telling him, well, he's not going to be successful. This is what they told him before. He's not going to be successful if he par partners up with this queen of pentacles in, in work or anything. She's the queen of pentacles in the upright. So how is he not going to be successful with this woman? The queen of pentacles, that's really all they do is work. They are, they are workaholics. These are women and men that will work and work and work and work until they reach the finish line. They will push through all obstacles. They don't even view things as obstacles. It's a lesson. It's a, hey, like my mindset, I can go through something today, something horrendous. And I'll be glad that I went through it because I know there's some point at some point in the future, I'm going to encounter this same problem. But guess what? When I encounter it the second time, I know how to handle it. I know how to handle it. So this queen of pentacles, her hard work, baby, is about to pay off, pay off, pay off. <laughs> Whatever you stole is going to be returned and multiplied. You thought you got away with something. You ain't get away with nothing. You celebrated a little too early because the ancestors, the angels, Archangel Michael done stepped in there. He said, mm -mm, we're balancing this out. It's time for a tuning. A tuning. He said, uh-uh, girl, you, you tried it. You got us effed up in one and too many ways. We taking care of it. This is about to be you trapped in your mind about this star C moving forward, staying calm in their energy, still being healed out here, pouring into themselves, universe still pouring into her or him, still giving to her. This person will have wish fulfillment, maybe partnering up with a higher level soulmate. And guess what? Whatever you took from them, it will be returned and plus some. Okay telling them you're not gonna be successful why are you living in fear i'm telling you you're living in fear about a man giving to a woman to balance this out i don't know if like uh there's a king of swords in here too that wants to give to someone to balance it out sir this woman knows exactly what you all have been doing behind the scenes so i don't know if maybe maybe you want to at this point take a different path and 
respect your license or I don't know how to verbalize, verbalize that to you, but you may want to take a different path and distance yourself from this unhinged creature. I don't know what this is. Okay. You are out here committed to ending someone, betraying someone, wanting to put an end to someone's work, wanting to have some type of control. There's something where it's like someone is in, in, intruding someone's internet so that they can trap you in something that you don't have nothing to do with. It's that, well, if you said you weren't into this system on this day, why is your IP address showing that you were there? It's them. They are the ones doing something in someone's IP or someone's IP address, someone's Wi-Fi, someone's internet, all of that is going to come out. It's not something that you're going to get away with. I'm telling you, it's all going to come out. It's all going to come out. Like someone has gone above and beyond, above and beyond. Yeah, this collaboration is over. It's over, over. The whole group, okay? About to have legal issues coming in. Legal issues. Some people may be wanting to run away. Say, can you, do, you, do you think they know I was a part of it? Uh, yeah. You all created a mess for yourself. Now you got to explain to the court system why you were out here. Why were you out here paying people? The whole group. Why were you out here paying people to tamper with someone else's life? Someone's privacy. Uh -huh, someone's resources, someone's connections, okay? Why are you paying someone in a divorce proceeding to make things go in your favor? Why are you sleeping with one of the lawyers? Why are you sleeping with a judge? You thought nobody knew. Everybody knew, Laura. Everybody knew, darling. I don't know if your name is Isabella, Naya, whoever, Elizabeth, whatever it is, honey. Everybody knows in the court system or it's going to come out. This queen, this, 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 uh, high priestess you've been coming after, baby, they're going to be moving forward in life. Whoever you've been working with, the high priestess that's been helping you trap or do spell works on someone else, baby, they got issues coming in. <clears throat> this, this is the worst backfire. I don't think you all know how bad something is about to get. How bad something is about to get. And while you all are going through karma, guess what? That queen of pentacles in the upright, that star C, empress energy, they're going to be sitting at home. At home, baby. Unbother. Unbother. Someone's about to come out of uncertainty due to things being balanced out in their life and moving on. It's like I'm sailing into the sunset. There's a tower, baby, a whole tower. A whole tower because someone knows the truth. Dang. Mm, 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 mm. It's a whole tower going in you all's life. It's like the whole group, the whole community, the whole family is going through a tower for manipulate. Oh, you paid to manipulate. Oh. <laughs> I picked up on this a while back. They've been paying to man have someone manipulate someone else's energy, like a high priestess's energy. An empress's energy is a hey, I want them to be out here crazy, spazzing out, losing their temper. So when he goes in to talk to her, she'll be pissed off. No, she ain't pissed off, darling. <laughs> she ain't pissed off. She's still as calm and collected as always. You see that subtle majesty? <laughs> she's, she's as calm as always, filled with love and focused on herself, healing. Having a new beginning while you are in distress. She ain't bothered. You wanna argue. And this sister got multiple streams of incomes coming in. That communication you've been blocking for a long time is coming in. She will receive it. You wanna argue. She don't wanna argue with you. You mad. Leave her alone. <laughs> Leave her alone. Yeah, it's a tower, darling. The whole family is about to go through a tower, or you're going through it. It said, welcome to the good life, and it's over. I'm telling you, it's over. The whole family's, the whole family, see, it's over. It's over now. <laughs> the good life is long and gone. Dang, they're all living in fear. 
listen so you're living in fear you want to come in what give some type of friendship to this who the queen of the, the high priestess you've been trying to destroy and ask them to be what practical about the situation uh no 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 the high priestess is not the one that has to be practical about the situation she wasn't the one out here trying to destroy someone's life remember she wasn't the one out here sending death spells to people remember she won the one out here telling lies and manipulating. Remember? Remember? So you all have to be the ones to be practical. Take a different path. Stop lying, cheating, stealing, trying to destroy, and trying to get people locked up for things they don't have nothing to do with. You're stuck. You're at a stalemate, right? Things ain't going your way because the truth is being exposed about you and all the actions you were taking, all the lies you were telling what to make things go in your favor. It's the end of the road for you, darling. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. This is just this karma playing out. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. This is just karma playing out. This is karma playing out. It's like there's something where it's like they have a masculine too that's working the king of pentacles. I mean, yeah, the king of pentacles. There's like a king of cups in your energy that's working you. I don't know if this is one of your lovers or someone that's been close to you for a long time. I don't know what this is, but he's working you too. <clears throat> he's, oh yeah, you didn't know that. He's working you. This is someone you more than likely has some type of one-on-one -on -one with. Maybe you've been having a lot of one-on-one -on -one with them. Yeah, he's working you too. <laughs> I, you can't make this stuff up. These wealthy people, Lord, they be having too much going on. They, 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 their lives are more fascinating than us regular folks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody's been working you. Work, work, work it out. <laughs> Your lover is working you. I saw you and your lover in my dream. I don't know if that's your lover or that's a close friend of yours, but I saw you and a masculine together in my dream. So the woman you're, you know, the woman you're coming towards, if this is who I saw, I don't know if you're really wanting to be in a heterosexual relationship. Maybe you found your what you like. That's okay. If that's what you're into, but don't come to this woman's energy trying to act like you've put a dead to that situation and now you want to be, you know, I don't know what this is, but what I saw in my dream was conflicting for me. I don't even know how to make, make sense out of it. All I know is I saw two masculines together in my dream. This came out sideways, so they want to come and pick a fight with someone to end them. Or to give them some type of disingenuous offer. They've been paying. I mean, it's the same thing over and over and over. It's all rituals and manipulations. It's all things being done out of desperation to force something to go their way. It's not going to go your way. Okay? Stop with all the, the, the rituals on the star sea because you ain't going to be able to tamper with this person's energy. I'm telling you, they will always. They will always be fulfilled. Like source is literally always pouring into these kind of people. So you're wasting your time, your money, and your energy. That practitioner is probably exhausted by this time. Like, girl, I can't do this no more. I don't know if this is a masculine that you hire or a woman. Don't matter. They're tired. Either way, they don't want to be doing that anymore because they know they can't take their, their person down. It's that you're out here trying to take down someone that... It's innocent, someone that's a healer, someone that has a calling on their life. You don't understand why they're so protected. There's a reason why they're so protected and you, your spell work is not working. There's a masculine behind the scenes or a feminine that's a practitioner and they are bewildered at the fact that they did the heaviest magic on someone and they're still here. That should tell you something. That should tell you something. And you as the king of pentacles, I think whoever it is they're trying to, de to destroy, you hold in a very high regard and it pisses these people off. They don't want you having that woman, this queen of pentacles here, the one that's hardworking and minds her business. 
and people have been trying to destroy people are trying to take action to destroy her work and things like that and all she's doing is minding her business right you hold that person in high regard for a reason that means at some level you still have enough senses to know the genuine from the fake but there's something about this woman and it has to do with voodoo he do she do code do we don't do over here over in collective lean because we don't need to do all of that that is why you were stuck and trapped with this woman it has to do with the fact that she's into voodoo i don't want to end my, my reading without knowing the end of this story so i'm gonna do three more cards but just know that the queen of pentacles you all are trying to destroy it's a no-no for you all this woman will have wish fulfillment okay yeah she this came out in the reverse in the uh excuse me it came out sideways so reverse which means she ain't gonna be hiding for no one stop it they said when we see her it's on sight when we see her it's on sight and she said bring it <laughs> Oh, we're all going to come up together and we're going to take care of her. She won't know what's coming to her. Is her sister say, okay, that's cute. Like, this is what we're doing out here at your age. This could be some, the, whoever this queen of wands is, someone they mature the right way. Someone's very immature, a little girl asking, uh, crying for help, but don't know how to cry for help in the right way. I don't even think she's crying for the right kind of help. It's more so like, love me uh adore me look at me i am the best in the room i'm the best in the world then do nothing to be the best at what are you the best d sucker <laughs> shots fire <laughs> what are you the best thief <laughs> Shot fire <laughs> girl stop it you need to cut it anybody can learn how to suck d <laughs> If that's the case. <laughs> oh, yeah, no more illusions, girl. No more illusions. He said someone was not gifted, not talented, don't know what they're talking about. They're in the voodoo. You know, everything you do, you project it onto another woman. But now people know the truth. He said, oh, Elizabeth, what is wrong with you? I trusted you. I'm telling you. Going from this to what? It's solid commitment. I'm telling you all. I knew it. <laughs> Elizabeth, Isabella, Naya, whoever you are. The high priestess you've been coming after. She's still getting a solid commitment. <laughs> even if it's not with the king of pentacles, it's going to be with someone even better. Someone who's in the upright. <laughs> Uh, let's send that master. You see that right there? Is it someone that don't put the work in to heal? They live in their truth. They are in charge of their life. In the upright, a higher level soul mid that's an ascendant master. So whoever you're trying to block from coming towards this beauty here, thank you. Because she's going to get something even better. Oh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Do not worry. Do not cry. The whole group is in distress. The whole community, is it? There's some type of investigation going on, too. Is it Elizabeth, darling? Will you sit, please? We have a few questions we'd like to ask you. On Friday of June the 10th, where were you, <laughs> Elizabeth? Uh, I was at home. I was spending time with Johnny. Johnny had just came back from one of his business trips. We had not seen each other in two weeks. And I was really elated. I had bought this silk uh, pajamas. And I wanted him to see how it looks on my body. I said, oh, really? So what were you doing in this neighborhood then at 10 to 45? <gasps> Uh, can I see that? Like, I want to make sure that's me. I don't remember being there. I'm telling you, I was with Johnny. Yeah, Johnny was not in town on July the 10th or June the 10th, whatever date I said earlier, folks. <laughs> you got some answerings to do, Elizabeth. You got some answerings to do, Naya. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you a busted busted. It ain't no way out of this one. You stuck stuck. You see, you see how this this man here is sitting here, can can barely move. He trying to hold on to everything he got. 
He said, mm-mm, I got to hold on to the last bit that I got. I only got four. I got to hold on to it because it's about to be a hard knock life for you. Oh, it's about to be a hard knock life for you. Mm, 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 mm. Girl, I don't know what to tell you, but you're about to be going through. It's a hard knock life for me. It's a hard knock life for me, girl. Ooh, you about to be in distress, pimp down, pimp down. You know you're a pimp because you be out here with all these men and women pimping them for their little money. It said, Miss Mary, now we've been doing this for five years. Are you going to make sure that I'm taken care of before you leave this world? Oh, sure thing, darling. I make sure my Elizabeth is taken care of. Is that how that conversation go, Elizabeth? <laughs> Mr. Dan, we have been doing 